So, today we got a bit of a fun one. We're going to start our next project. Um, we've decided what to do with the uh, 212 motor that was sitting on the bicycle, just not getting used anymore. We're going to uh, put it on a kayak. So, we got motor, we got kayak. Let's put them together. And as per usual, first step is to play musical powers. Dodge key. And Mazda. This is what we have to do just to work in the garage. Step first, mix that clean the kayak. So this fits in there really nicely. So take two seven inch cuts so we can stack them, make them a square. Mm -hmm. Because as we clamp in that, it's going to squish. Yeah. So give it a little bit of extra rigidity. So it takes up 14 of the inches from here. It's a total of 36. So then we can make two more cuts to make a square that kind of fits similar to that. Somewhere in there. That fits down a little bit deeper. Okay. Because we're going to have to have, like, the square going in there is going to have to sit up above. So we're, it's going to have to be, like, double layered. But so we have like one square here, one up here. We're you talking about welding the two squares, like having the two squares pieced together or separate in that channel? Uh, talking about like stacking them one on top of each other or yeah. just having one in here for rigidity down yeah, there and so one to well, clamp So we have one down here and that's what's actually connecting to the mount. Yeah. And then we have another one on top to bring it up above the level of the Yeah, kayak. so we can actually clamp so it on. So we can actually clamp onto it. Okay. And then for like the mount portion, these are going to be perfect. We'll just kind of cut them in half like that. Yeah, to get it in that channel. Get it down there. We're going to have to have one on the inside and one on the outside. And then just like five bolts like that. The same there. And then on the bottom. Are those bolts sticking out going to get in the way of that channel, though, that we're trying to make with the... We're going to, we're going to have to space it around it. Okay. All right. And then... Ooh, okay. The, the biggest question is going to be... Don't lick the kayak. Hey. So the easiest place to cut is going to be like right around here in that ring. That's going to be a mother to all the way back there. The other thing I was thinking is we can cut like a slit here and a slit here so we can slide the stuff in. And that'll give us the room we need to move it. And then we can still just use this as a plate over there. Kind of cut like one hole in the middle. Is that where you're going to be sitting though? I mean, yes. not that it really matters. Yeah, so that's why we got to try and keep it like as small as possible. And I was thinking if it's kind of like long like that and skinny, one, the metal's going to help distribute the weight over to the sides. Yeah. And then we'll be able to like, with the long skinny motor mount piece, kind of go like that and then rotate it once it's inside and we'll be closer so we'll be able to manipulate it better. So probably better to cut the hole somewhere in here. So yeah, we're making cardboard templates first because we don't want to waste metal do unnecessary cuts that we don't need to do. Remember, always cut towards yourself. <laughs> Make sure I'm just a little bit more off so I can tuck it in a little further. Yeah. Because the seat really, well, we, need, we need clearance to like there. Oh yeah, let me, let me sit in this and see what it just gotta get wet out whatever oh okay yeah because you kind of need to have where's the throttle gonna be on that engine 
Is it gonna be off to the like right hand side or is it just gonna be straight direct center of the of the mount? Cause I don't. Cause if you're sitting right there and it's directly behind you, that's gonna be awkward as hell to try to. Can you use the, the, like the, the dice to put the zip ties? The, oh. The side cutters. You were talking about like the snips, right? I know. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't see the actual ones that I was looking for, so that was the first thing I saw. Where? Did they work? Oh, cool. So I don't have to give you those. It was a joke at first. <laughs> so this is all I need. And then hold that. Got it. Oh, that's a beefy throttle. Plate. Yep, and it'll sit in there. It'll end up kind of like that. So then we can put this here. Or you can put it over here. Okay. So yeah, so we, that. yeah, if you have it like this, it'll be fine to grab here and rotate. Okay, all right. Still might be a little awkward, whichever side we have it on turning opposite direction, uh, but. We could probably also always like cut like here and here shorten that and then take this and put, add the length out here. Yeah. So that way it's more like that. Yeah. So this is, so it goes around your body a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> we'll deal with that later. Yeah, but I mean like that's gonna be a lot of a turn. Yeah. So. Cause yeah. we're not gonna be, we're not gonna wanna be cranking 90s anyways. Yeah, we're not gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> this kayak's just going sideways. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Cool. Well, I mean, it's okay if it's only that long. Okay. Oh, hey, that actually gave me a pretty good. Don't cut on the kayak. Yeah. It's plastic. Yeah, I uh, didn't think about that too. I ain't too smart. I already gouged it with the, one of the pieces of metal, just like right here. Setting it on it. Yeah. And like I picked it up and there's like a little curtain through the plastic on it. I'm like, ah, <laughs> Sorry, kayak, if that's the worst abuse you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's about to be mutilated. It's like, oh, please. Dude, with one person though, um, sitting in the back, at least when I was like 80 pounds. Yeah. I could get it up going pretty quick to where like I could get the kayak to, to like, lift bow up like that. <laughs> just paddling. Yep. To where like you could see the weight would be coming off like right around where my feet were, right? <laughs> so I can't imagine what it's gonna be like. I mean you know we're both gonna have to try this by ourselves at some point. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. It's it's, hopefully it's fine. Y yes. I'm <laughs> I'm 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 hoping too. <laughs> Well, it's definitely gonna be terrifying, but like I, I hope like fun, fun terrifying. terrifying or, like, or like just scary. Yeah. <laughs> so we have discovered the size of the hole that we're gonna have to make uh, to be able to cut into the kayak, reach in, get the plates on the back side so we can screw those together, and then we're probably just gonna put a plate on top of that in our video. So it's like waterproof. Yeah. Where you sit, you're out. Gonna like the edge your ass kind of right there, but yeah, so you can fit your arm in. <laughs> be able to like reach in, and... yeah, but, yeah, a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So that's nice. Yeah, I was thinking it was gonna be like, yeah, I thought we were gonna actually like have to cut cut into this thing. That makes me feel a lot better. Always remember wear your glasses, because <laughs> I mean it's already sketchy enough that we're just cutting on the ground. Gotta at least do something for you know. PPE. <laughs> and this is about as minimal as it gets for PPE for us.
At what point in our lives did we decide this is what we wanted to do for fun? Well, it's about December. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an actual date. <laughs> to start drawing holes. I mean, should, we, should we start with pilot holes? Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's not as thick as I thought. That's a nice curve. I mean, it's still pretty thick for plastic, but yeah, that's... I thought it was a lot thicker. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting it to be. Oh, well, it'll be metal reinforced, so. <laughs> good enough for, good enough for me, I guess. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> it just goes right through. Oh, cool. Yeah. Line up perfect. Oh, like, perfectly on all of them. Well, like I said, this, this hole's a step smaller than the, the holes in the kayak, so that helps, but. Still. Cool. You what? You know what kind of wires in the welder? No clue. Okay, I'm just I mean, have we ever done anything else? 035 or 030? No, other than winging it. Oh. <laughs> So what we're doing to reinforce the plates that we're putting on the inside, we're you know doubling up, doubling up, and then he did put put the bolt holes through and just weld them in place. So they will go nowhere. Plenty of penetration on them, so those look good. And the bolt heads got melted down, but I mean they didn't work. At least hold it in place. And what we're going to do probably is get some R2, make a little gasket around it, so we're just ensuring that it's not going to leak anywhere. Because even if it did, it would be fine with those little bolts anyways. And then, so I cut it. Zach is just cleaning up. So it's spiky. So we're going to be able to fit our arm through. The plate's in here. Oh, good girl. As you are. Put that big cannon on the exhaust. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Right where, where we're gonna have it dumped into the water and just have. <laughs> Jeez. So what we did, I showed it earlier, but I wanted to actually show you what it was. Uh, we got the plates, welded the bolts on through. That way you can get this plate on the inside through that hole to get it to come through. To screw down the nuts on the outside of this to get it to kind of hold in place, give the mount some more rigidity, and then we're gonna put the uh, frame right here. We're gonna have one of those uh, L frame. What am I looking for? Angle. The angle iron. Yeah, thank you. Angle iron down here, and then one further up that we can actually mount the clamp to. So time to get this one in. Got this little bracket. What I had to do was grind it down. It's a little uneven, but we're gonna figure that out later. Uh, get this little bracket to sit down in here. I still need to do a little bit more grinding. The point is we can get that in there, weld it into place, and then we're gonna have a uh, two more pieces of these that we'll, we'll weld into a square. We can actually get the C clamps on top of right here to get the engine mount. So I'm gonna finish grinding this and get it in place. Okay, so while Tyler's wrapping up with the motor mount, 
getting the final pieces put together. I'm going to start taking apart the bike. And, uh, get the engine ready for remounting on the kayak. Got a little bottom bracket back welded in place with a little crappy support going down to the bottom. Fun part is going to be taking all this off so we can actually weld it in place without welding it on the plastic. And then we're going to get the uh, top piece, that right there, attached to it so we can collect it. All right, well, got it all bolted down for the final time. Got a layer of RTV on the inside there, just in case any water makes it through the, the cracks. Uh, got them out here. So this bracket's gonna sit like so. And then this is the mount motor. Motor mounts under those four holes right there. should be pretty pretty nice so we're gonna go ahead and call it quits there because well, it's already been a pretty long day so but after this I mean basically we just have to get the uh, the mud motor kit all actually bolted up and well, we already got the engine off of the bike over uh, it's pretty small it's so over there and uh, should be ready to hit the water. Probably have one more evening and left work on it and have it all ready to go. Oh, we gotta seal up the hole that's, the access hole that we drilled right over there. So, should be, shouldn't be too bad. But uh, yeah, so, should be, uh, should look forward to round two.